Okay, this is in milliliter. Milliliter? No, millimeter. Hey everyone, this is yeah. Kyle Abbott, Bachito Blockcast. We've got Larry Tran here. Yeah. And we're following Shamisen of Japan. Yeah. Buy it. Amazon. So we're making my first Shamisen. And here we are measuring up the piece for some. So we have to add A and B, right? And C. Yeah. Together. Okay. We got a tool that we use on the iPhone. <laughs> So before doing the saw, we just finished making the dough pieces here. Uh, because the wood is a little thinner, we have to clamp two together and we'll trim it off to size. Well, since Sue's last checked in with our heroes, uh, they slash we have trimmed uh, the dough pieces into two for each, and now it's to shape them. So we're using the handy dandy templates that come from with Shamis included with Shamisen Japan. Don't rip the books. Photocopy it. Yes. Pro tip. Pro tip. And it won't be even. One thing to note that it is just a, a guide, you yeah. know, but it doesn't have, it's not like a... And even though you use machine and rulers to cut up your block, there's still extra that so you have to take out later. Story of life. So it's not perfect. Story of life. Yeah. Yesterday was one big block. Today we trim it down closer to the guidelines so that now we can chip out piece by piece and shape our sides. And here we have four piece trimmed down and ready for some shaping. Curves, because it's all about them curves. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, you want me to say it? Oh, okay. <laughs> but you, you calculated it. Oh, so here's what we got after 20 hours. We've just finished trimming down the wood. So the shape, the curve of the dough is out. Our next step is to round the edge. Ooh la la. Round the edge. It's time to carve. Here we go. This is the real deal. It is a fairy rasp file, and it is it makes rounding these uh, babies much more easy. So, how do we do that? Excellent question. First, breathing protection because it tends to get sneezy. It's not necessary, but it's Saturday. It's Sunday. It's almost Sunday. We want to be comfortable. Most importantly, I find what makes this easy is if we keep hard lines, as it were, like so. If we keep hard lines, as you can see here, and just have it as much as possible even, as, as we get f closer and closer, we know that it's gonna, we won't have dips or bumps because it'll be kind of uniform. Does that make sense? Leave your comment below and let me know. And as you get closer 
and then you see these kind of like peaks start to form, then you can kind of adjust this, tilt it in, and then round that out. But it's okay to keep it, you know, kind of jagged, and then at the end, just kind of blend it all together. It's like cutting hair. <laughs> I like to start from the outside because if you get kind of under the grain, under the wood, you can kind of pop out a lot of ch chunks. Not pop, you know, you kind of get a lot of chunks that way, which is pretty nice. Of course, as you get uh, closer to the line, you want to be more careful that you don't you know, pop out below that. Uh, another thing is, I think wood like this kind of has interlocking grain and such, where sometimes you know, you'll go along one way fine and it'll cut normally fine, but then you'll kind of hit a part that snags where the grain is interlocking, I guess. And of course, then if you pry on that, then you can pull up a huge chunk, which is nice when you're wanting to get a lot out. Uh, but if you're not wanting to get a lot out, you've got to watch out for those parts. So. Oh yeah, this is nice. Sorry. Ooh, this this is a good wood to cut. And you just basically keep going until you get until you get this. Do you sand it all? Yeah, with sandpaper just afterwards. Sandpaper and then a secret tool, very secret, but I'm going to tell us all today, a chunk of an eraser. Put the sandpaper over and then... Mm -hmm. ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. Heavy, heavy on the wood. That's okay. Um, all right, let's put this together. Guess what? Up to Jesse, yes. Here we go. All right, and we are almost done. Who's it? Okay, well, I'll give a little water to wipe that off, but basically, uh, there we go.
This will be the first in history gold leaf shiny sand. Indeed. Yes, everyone, that is gold. 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold. It's the healthiest gold. Okay, that's the worst pun. Never mind. No, you actually can eat gold. There are some drinks and food with gold in it. I don't know if it's healthy or not, but it's expensive. I know, but 24 karat gold. I was going with the carrot. Ah. Uh, Indeed. What? <laughs> Designing the outside of Shami Sen will be will soon be a thing. Yeah. Everyone will demand design on outside. It's not wasabi. So you apply Urushi, make sure everything's clean. Very clean. <laughs> There's no shortcut. Hey Larry, where's your gold? It's hidden. There it is. Well, it appears that the Urushi kind of reacted with the top layer of everything, everything <laughs> below it, below the Urushi. Which kind of created this peanut butter like, uh, not very glossy coating. Sometimes in life we just have to start over. Ah, yes. 